So thank you to all of you. Thank you for caring for the environment, for your health, for the animals, whatever the reason is that you are here today. Maybe you are just hoping for a, a dinner at the Happy Raja. That's also fine. Everybody's welcome, whatever your reason is for being here. So I am just going to go through the agenda for tonight. I'm going to share my screen just so you get an understanding of what to expect over the next hour together. And I just ask you to give your 100%, you know, just set everything else aside and just be here. You put this time aside for yourself and there's so much that I would love to share. So we're just going to go through the agenda for tonight. So now for a little question and answer, do we have the digestive system of an omnivore, a herbivore or a carnivore? Oh, wow. 10 raised hands. Super. Krish Yes, uh, herbivore. How many times better is vegan blood at suppressing cancer cell growth? It's eight times better. Well done. Um, what percentage of people would rather go vegetarian than kill their own dinner? So it's 50%. What animal product is addictive with opiate-like molecules built in? Uh, cheese. Cheese. Cheese is addictive. Which animal product can't you legally market as healthy or good for you if you want to obtain funding for your marketing? Garth, which product <laughs> can you... <laughs> Eggs. Eggs. What is added to chicken feed to make them grow fast and to prevent them getting sick? Antibiotics. Absolutely. Okay, last question. How many big drums of water does it take to produce one beef burger? Ten. Very good. <laughs> wow, guys, I'm so impressed. I, I'm not a teacher, but I'm so proud. <laughs> my star students. I just want to share my screen now and talk to you about our September challenge, because if you were moved by this movie and you're inspired, we have a challenge in September. And this is how, how it works. Um, and then we'll go into the breakout rooms and you can discuss this in person. So in September, we are offering everyone to come together and join in a challenge where you can either go egg-free or dairy-free or uh, meat-free or maybe the whole lot, maybe you're ready to transition or try to be vegan. Um, I also promote wellness as, as well as a plant-based diet. And I encourage anyone who's struggling a bit with alcohol, maybe with smoking, uh, maybe with sugar or junk food, or drugs, um, and not so much the hardcore drugs like marijuana or cocaine, but even antidepressants or sleeping pills or anything that you might feel that you're addicted to. In January, we did a, a challenge where everybody went vegan for the month, and this is some of the footage from the prize giving. Um, we, we got together for a couple of events throughout the month, which was really nice to build community and, and just support each other on the journey. And then on the last night, we came together and we did prize giving. Um, our lucky winner, we drew out of a hat, won a weekend at the Salt of Palma. And, and the Lux group are very, very supportive of the work that I'm doing. So they love to give weekends away. And so what we did is everybody um, would message every day if they were vegan on that one day. So for instance, you can see here on the left for all the participants, we had 40 participants. And um, on day one, if we got a message to say, today I was vegan, we would mark it as green. And if we didn't hear from you, it's okay. We just, um, we left it as a, a forfeit or a, a day that you took off, which is absolutely fine. So you can see out of all these people here in green were the days everybody was 100% vegan. And in yellow was the days that um, people fell off the challenge a little bit. Maybe they took one day off, two days off. Um, you can see right at the bottom, um, we had a participant who was vegan for only one day. Um, and that's absolutely fine because we just counted the collective um, the collective effort and for January we were vegan for 861 days in total as a group, which was amazing. And um, what we did is we gamified the month, so everybody had to bet money on themselves. So it made it a lot more fun, it made, it, made people accountable, so whatever people were able to afford, um, we had a anything from sort of 50 rupees a day up to one and a half thousand rupees a day. So at prize giving, um, we would then refund and you would earn your own money back depending on how well you did. 
So some people actually earned up to 45,000 rupees back of what they what they bet on themselves. So this might not make a lot of sense to you now, but um, just so you get the idea that it's a challenge, you put money in the pot, you can win your money back depending on how well you do. The days that um, you fail, that's when we fundraise and we use that money to cover our costs, to do marketing, and, and we're so grateful for that money because it means that we can and, and we can do this work so much more as well. We have a lot of sponsors for January. I have not a single company say no to sponsoring the wellness and sustainable, sustainable challenges that we're offering. So some nice big names there. And perhaps you work for a company that you feel has a product or a prize that they might want to offer. That would be amazing. Um, in January, the newspapers loved our challenge. We were in the DeFi Plus. Um, we were in magazines, we were in the Investor magazine, L'Express um, newspaper, and also a lot on the radio, on Radio 1. And um, yeah, so it's got a lot of coverage. And I think even in September, we'll, we'll get a lot more, which is great. And the Lux have already offered a prize for September, which is two um, adults for a night bed and breakfast in a superior room at the Lux Grand Gorg. So we can look forward to that. We've also been offered um, doTERRA essential oils, which are very good quality essential oils. So that will go to one of our lucky winners. And also the Beyond Meat um, Infinite Foods, they are offering food packs to some winners as well. So that's just the beginning of the September challenge. I want to do it, so how do I sign up like now? You know, when I come off this call, I'm going to just sign up now. So I'm really confused. Oh, wonderful. I've, been, I've already been practicing. I've done so many days as a vegan over the past couple of months. I'm like, I can do this. So I just want to put my name down now. Like, <laughs> how, how quick can I do it? I want to win that that thing at Grand Gorg or the aromatherapy. I'm in for it, okay? <laughs> I love your enthusiasm. I love it. Thumbs up if you got to speak to somebody in a little group. Was it all right? <laughs> great. Okay, that's great. So you've started to meet some of the community of like-minded people who are interested in this plant-based journey. Is anybody willing to just share with the group um, how they feel? In the movie was very, very informative because uh, it brings down a lot of statistics in that short amount of time. Very compelling stats, I would say. Like, for example, the 50% of natural resources that you're using on a meat-based diet, right, compared to just 5%, and uh, how much uh, of the natural resources, like, if we continue with this kind of lifestyle in 40 years' time, we're done, and uh, there's no going back, right? So that was quite shocking. I think uh, it also encourages people to continue the educational journey of watching the documentaries uh, that you mentioned and uh, I personally watch some of uh, the documentaries and uh, yes I can confirm <laughs> <laughs> that uh, truly um, it's very very bad what is happening. Thank you very much for um, sharing such a vast piece of knowledge in a succinct manner. I would like to know if the movie is available somewhere online because I'm so this movie I can show to a few more people whom I'm sure will love to see it or at least will be very informative to them. I have been in two minds whether to put this live to the public and what I think is there's so much information out there, there's a data overload, people actually have seen many things similar but there's no call to action, there's no community, there's no action plan, okay what am I going to do now and I find that people will just watch it and it will become yesterday's news. So I'm really trying to show it in a controlled environment where people really show up, they're interacting with each other, they're creating an action plan and I think that might be more effective. So please, please do invite people onto the webinar. We hope to have them often, so depending on the demand, so thank you. Are we all ready for the prize? Who would like a dinner for two at Happy Raja? Priya! I'm very grateful to you for this. Jella, so just a quick question. What is the next step as far as the September challenge is concerned? Um, I would say um, just start experimenting yourself, start doing your own research, maybe start reducing the animal products you're eating, because I'm sure people have got stuff that's frozen and in the fridge. And even when you're out, start ordering the odd vegan or vegetarian meal and just start creating awareness, talk to people. I find when you go extreme. I've had people who just like overnight, that's it, I'm going vegan. And it's not sustainable because first of all, your body gets a shock. Um, even if you give up alcohol or caffeine, 
your body gets a shock. So I would say slowly start transitioning and then by September you'll be gung-ho for a, a full month of, of vegan or alcohol free. And I would say yeah, join the group. The group is very active and also join our social media platforms. We often will be posting stuff on Facebook or Instagram. And um, so we just sort of drip feed this knowledge. There's so much to take in. And I'm always watching plant-based news. I'm following all the, the, the vegan and plant-based activists. And, and when I see something interesting, I, I do share it either in the group or on, on my social media. So, so I would mm -hmm. say that's, you know, keep an eye for that. I do have a new website that's been built and on that will be events. I'm going to start collaborating with people in the wellness field. Anyone who has an event that is meat-free, alcohol-free, smoke-free, we're going to list them all there. And then we can all together go and join maybe a hike in the mountains with a vegan picnic. We're going to collaborate with people because often when you change this lifestyle, you can be left feeling quite lost because you're not doing the same things as your friends now. So we, we do, we want to have a whole lot of events to, to help you transition with yeah basically supporting you in every way does that answer your question yeah fantastically thank you very much heather i really appreciate your presentation tonight bye, bye. thank you thank you good night everybody thank you bye-bye bye. thank you bye-bye bye 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 Oh,